Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Beneath the Surface. In this episode, we'll take a look at one of the core components of the hot new game Warzone, jumping from the plane. Now, I'm sure you've scratched the surface and can do it, but every game's different, and no matter which BR you came from, Apex, Fortnite, PUBG, they're all different, and we're going to take a look at how to develop this skill in Warzone. In today's episode, I'll break down the two core components for jumping, how to pick a spot, and how to land the quickest. Then at the end, I'll go over some advanced little techniques that can enhance your drop, get you faster, you know, make it more efficient. I'm Glocktane, and this is How to Break Down Jumping. Alright, so the first step is just how to pick a spot. Find a way to make money. Determine what kind of player you are and how you want to play this game. Now, this could be different from game to game, but it doesn't really matter. There's two ways to make money. Kills or looting. You gotta decide. So for those of you that like a slower game, obviously go with the looting, go for scavenger contracts, a little magnifying glass, or go for recon to figure out where the next location is going to be. Or if you're someone that's more action packed and wants to go for the kills, go for the crosshairs. These are bounty contracts that'll help you find other enemies and give you rewards for killing them. All right, fun. Now pick the spot you're gonna land by these bounties. I always try to pick the biggest building or the most concentrated loot in the area. So ping what spot you're going to so your team sees. You'll see I'm the orange ping this time. They'll ping it as well, but that's just so they know where we're going. I do this so that way we don't all land on top of each other and nobody gets loot. This is a way to help communicate with your team. All right, now that you've picked your spot, how do you get there the fastest? Well, you know, I say, in my personal opinion, around 700 meters. That's going to be the fastest way to land, because the plane will carry you much faster, just like in all the other games. Now, when you're going forward, you got to make sure to hold W, easy, and the way you're looking forward or down will affect it. So, you know, just make sure to look down a bit more than forward if it's only at this distance. When you're landing, make sure to land approximately 30 meters out from the building that you would like to land at. If this is a high building, you can aim next to the building and pull your parachute early, quote unquote, to cheat the stopping mechanic. This is a better technique for fast landing on roofs. Now, if it's going to be a longer distance, say a long drop, pull the chute once you hit 60-ish miles an hour, and you can see that on the right side, and get a good set distance holding W when you pull the chute and keep going forward. You repeat as long as you need. You can see for me, it's C and then space to reopen the chute. But the more velocity you have at the end, the better it is for the landing because it'll carry you and you'll be much harder to hit. You'll land much faster. And as you can see in the clips, they're a little bit different than what I'm saying just because I'm giving you the foundation, the fundamental blocks as to adjust. So in my clips, you can see that as I'm dropping, I am constantly adjusting my drop because I've really gotten comfortable with the mechanic. And we're going to go ahead and replay this last clip, the very end, because it brings up the most important point. You want to cut your shoot before you land. Now, you can survive around 20-25 meters, and it's going to take a little bit to get used to. You just let your teammates know you're going to go down a couple times. Because getting down, what, four or five games in a row to master this? Completely worth it. So go ahead and try it out in your next couple of games. I'll give you a couple of examples right here. And so one of the big things that I've learned to take away from Apex Legends, my other favorite, was to always, when you have enough momentum, you'll see here, always hold C and then slide right there. I immediately shrink my hitbox and made it a little bit harder for me to get hit. All right, you rockers and glockers out there. This is going to be a video again for just the people that are starting out that really want to see what they're doing wrong with the fundamentals. This is a fundamental of parachuting. Now, if you have something else you want me to go over that is something that's just escaping you, your friends can grasp super easy, but you have a hard time, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like content like this, make sure to, again, comment, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. 
I want to hear from you what you guys want to learn about this game. I can also do advanced tips. I am in the top 1% for score and the top 00.1% for kills. So if you have something that is really making you just want to learn, make you want to play more, let me know and I can break it down for you. I'm your host, Galoctane, and this has been A Look Beneath the Surface.